this is Ayan Bior, and we are in beautiful Nairobi, Kenya, the city in the sun. On the program before, we've talked about the challenges of housing. Well, we're on our way to Nakuru right now to speak to residents. South Sudanese diaspora members got enough money together to build their first project. Former South Sudanese first vice president turned opposition leader Riek Machar received a red carpet welcome at Juba International Airport on Monday. The parties are due to form a transitional government of national unity on November 12th. Juba's busiest streets, I take it. Like the war broke up in 2013, the war was from both sides, on the ground and online. Now, if this school never existed, I, I'm wondering where we could take these girls being subjected to the harmful cultural practices like child marriage, human trafficking. We are here at Kalewe Market, Uganda, Kampala, where women are asking for their conditions to change, the conditions of sexual harassment, sanitary situation. Come to beautiful lunch and toilets for women in this market. We're in beautiful Kampala for a special partnership with NBS Television. There is a way it categorizes who is influenced by social media. I think the most powerful impact of social media has been in the area of feminism and the rights of women. Glad to have you. Welcome to Nairobi. Thank you so much. As much as she might want to take care of her child, this is not the place for it. This discussion, some might ask, is it a valid discussion? Is it a pressing issue at the moment? But we want to hear the women's voice. Yes, men's perspective is very welcome. When she came in, we managed to operate that trunk and stitch it back to normal. Okay. Good boy, right? 